to your weekend romance reading. I hope it's extra, extra. This is Born Without Boundaries. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do. This is your weekend romance. This is for the weekend ahead. So let's discuss per sign and I'll timestamp them. Don't worry about it. Which, uh, what's coming towards you? Like, what can you expect in love? And then the extended link below, you'll find it in the description box. We'll go into who is coming towards you. Who is your person? Who could you expect or might have a romantic spark with this coming weekend? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It could be this weekend too. Who knows? I have pre-shuffled the cards just for convenience. There will be some um, commercial breaks if you guys are on platforms that allow for that. So uh, I will let you know. I'll tell you before they happen so that I won't. they won't interrupt a message, okay? I have focused on the cards. I have prepared myself for the cards. We're looking into love for each of the zodiac signs. We started at Scorpio. Are you ready? Scorpio, weekend romance now and you'll see me guys you'll see this is not a this is this is this is a this is a mom and pop shop right here okay so we're gonna do scorpio at 120 so i could take my time stamps down as i go scorpio Ooh, life is speeding up yummy yeah this is so good for you guys listen what this means is simply this you're either like high paced rip rapid moving quickly because you're already met the love of your life you're already happily married you already have your great kids and your home but life is speeding up there's a lot happening i mean it's 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 holiday time right so you're out and about you're running like crazy you're going like crazy do me a favor over this weekend or next weekend please do stop to pause to give a little kissing give a little loving give a little tushy squeezing eye winking neck kissing to the love of your life. Please do it because it's gonna make all the difference. Some of the best holiday gifts, Scorpio, are the ones that aren't really wrapped in a package, unless it's a certain kind of package. I just thought of a very, very specific SNL skit, and I hope that happens to you, but you gotta make time for them, right? So as you're rushing around, and I hope that you're rushing around, and I do see you guys doing stuff together, decorating stuff together, going shopping together, but one is going this way and one is going that way, please do just stop every once in a while. It doesn't even have to be like date night, yay, but that would be great. But every once in a while, just stop and give it a little squeeze. Give it, give it a little sexy. Like, put it in there. Put it in there, if you know what I mean. Now, for Scorpios, and I saved this to second because this is what excited me the most. For Scorpios that have that, um, you know, that you still single, you still mingling, that's fine, that's awesome. It's picking up. So that means you're either gonna get a lot of traction, so you have a lot of people who are interested in you, which you're probably used to, but a lot more because it's, it's time, people are celebrating, people are in the mood for connection and so you're gonna have a lot more options you, there's a lot of energy floating around you but I also feel for those of you who are looking for relationships you are so close to your person it's like it's like it's like after we got out of mercury retrograde now time is picking up and you'll see that there's momentum and there's movement and you feel you almost feel yourself being pulled go Go, go, let yourself be pulled in that direction, Scorpio. Please, 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 please. Because this person is either rushing toward you or you're rushing toward them or you're, psh, you're gonna crash. And I think it's good that you're gonna have all these other options and all these other people to meet around you. And it's gonna be great. And it's just gonna give you the volume and it's gonna give you the energy and it's gonna give you the momentum and it's gonna give you, I don't know, keeping up your passions. It's just gonna, it's just gonna keep you going in that, in that positive direction where you're gaining momentum and so crash, you hit your person. Now, for those of you real lucky, you could be hitting, hitting like, just like crashing into them over this weekend or next weekend, but I will say this to you. It doesn't matter. What matters is it's picking up and you're gonna feel like that a burden lifted. You're going to feel a lot lighter, a lot happier, a lot more successful when it comes to the romance. So let's get into your 
Focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. See, this is my card where this is a person that you didn't even expect, but we'll get into your type of person later. But this is that um, maybe not star-crossed lovers, but beauty and the beast. That's what it is. It's beauty and the beast. It's that feeling of you just not nah, Scorpio. I don't know if you're the beauty or you're the beast. Because a lot of Scorpios are both. <laughs> so maybe this is just a card about you not settling for anything more than inspires you, than intrigues you. There is a, a kind of intrigue that comes to this card that you're not going to settle for even just nice. Because for you, nice is different than good. Thank you, Stephen Sondheim. Nice is different than good. And you want good. You want great. You want something that pulls at you and tugs at you, that person that you can have just those special moments with, just the two of you, that you understand each other. You have that connection where, you know, maybe you wouldn't look like look at anybody else this way or you wouldn't trust anybody else this way, but here is this person that you just feel absolutely in tune with, in tune like, like the Philharmonic. This is harmony between the two of you. And I do have a feeling like it is a little bit of that storybook essence. Like that's what you want. You want that this doesn't happen every day. And look what this came up. It doesn't happen every day. This kind of love doesn't happen every day. And it's going to side swipe you, but in the best of ways. And it's coming in quick. So be like, I'm just saying, you know how you be prepared? Let me say this. Don't sit there and wait. Don't wonder. Don't worry. Be prepared by just being in it. Being in it. Be involved. Go out. Go out and flirt. Go out and date. Go out and hook up if you want to. Just keep those juices flowing so that you keep in the momentum. Because I'm telling you right now, this person is coming. And they're coming in quicker than you think. Quicker than you think. I got a two here. That's two days, two weeks, two months. Any of that is not that far away. So just be very, very aware of that, Scorpio. It's coming in and it's got this wonderful beauty and the beast kind of love. This, you didn't even like mentality of this, this connection between the two of you, like that's unexpected. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it there. Okay, let's go. We got Scorpio. Let's go into Sag. Hey, happy Sag season. Happy Sag season. That's pretty awesome, right? Sag is how you doing in your season? So far, so good. Let's see what love is in store. Let's see, Sag. Here we go. Freedom is yours. Oh, so you, unlike Scorpio, you may not be picking up. You may be checking out. All okay. right. So this is a feeling of, first of all, generally speaking, lightheartedness. This is a feeling of over the next two weekends, things have been lightened up. A load has been lightened. You feel lighter, you feel happier, you feel free. Now this could be Sagittarius. This could be from burdens in your life. Like burdens in your life that's got nothing to do with your partner. It has nothing to do with your relationship. It's just now you're free and you're liberated to be able to enjoy your partner, enjoy your life, take some time for yourself. You could have been engaged in family obligations. You could have been engaged in heavy work. You could have been engaged in a lot of things that were taking your time away from the stuff that gives you pleasure. But now there's a feeling, Sagittarius, where you actually have the, the time to enjoy yourself and to enjoy your partner also. And I can't ignore this because it is what it is. This is my freedom card. This is my breaking free. So there is a little bit of a suggestion that either this weekend or next weekend, Sagittarius, you could be breaking up with somebody, becoming single again. That's okay. We have another Sagittarius on the market. And who doesn't want to pick one of you up? Um, for real. So this is a feeling of you're finally letting go of a situation that hasn't been working for a while, but you've been trying to make it work for longer than you should have. So there's a feeling of relief and release. It's not even necessarily going out and hitting the town. It's just finally accepting what it is, accepting the condition and moving on from it, allowing yourself to release. Now, the truth about this is it may have been with somebody that things hadn't worked out with or that you'd broken up with months ago, but this now is that momentum, that, the, that feeling, I'm sorry, that feeling of finally being free of it, finally being guilt-free of it, finally being obligation-free of it, finally having your brain space cleared out, really like for the first time in a long time, getting back to yourself and feeling yourself again. And this is a beautiful momentum to enter into your season with Sagittarius. 
listen with your heart. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. So this could very well have been what ended up happening. You were thinking about freedom. You wanted to break up with the person. You're trying to understand them. And I don't feel like this is going to be ugly or mean. I feel like listening with your heart is the way that you'll be led to freedom. It's like almost you need to still talk to each other or understand the situation between the two of you because there's this feeling of something about the relationship was hanging around, holding on, either holding on to your heart they didn't want to let you go. Something was lingering. And I think it's necessary for you to just open up your heart. No judgments, no preconceived whatevers. Just open up your heart and listen to each other. It'll actually either facilitate you being able to be free of the burdens and the stress that was weighing you guys down. And you'll be able to move forward with each other. Or it's a sense of you will you will be able to just let them go finally. You'll be able, even if you're not even talking to them. This is what I just felt. Even if you're not even talking to them, there's this mentality of you finally get what they were saying because you're not so angry that you need to fling arrows at them. You are finally able to open up your heart and understand things from their perspective. And it was kind of like an, oh. And it makes you feel better to not have to hate them so much. That's what I'm getting. It's, it, it'll make you feel better to not have to hate somebody that you used to love so much or or resent somebody that you used to enjoy so much. It's a, it's a lightening up of your energy because you finally are able to listen with an open heart instead of defensiveness. Also, this for the Sagittarius who are in relationships, who are in loving relationships, this is just freedom from some sort of argument or some sort of conflict that was happening. Maybe there was a load outside of you that's finally been lightened. You know, like you finally got your car back and now you don't have to share two car. You know, you don't, now you don't have to share one car. You know, you don't have to get up at five o'clock in the morning to drive them to work first because now the car, you know, it's like something like that. It could be mundane, but it could have been putting just a stress on the two of you, making things tense, making things like irritable. But now you can listen with your open heart again because, ah, the air has cleared. We can finally like, there's just like freedom from a, a, some sort of obligation that was putting pressure on the two of you. I mean, it could have been lots of things, financial burden. You finally got a big credit card paid off, you know? And it's like, oh, now we can go back and go out and have date night again and not have to worry about too much. It, something something from the outside could have been putting pressure on the two of you so that you felt you, you were there was stress between the two of you and maybe you were just snapping at each other a little bit more well now there's a lightening there's a lessening and so you can listen with your heart again open heart enjoy each other's company enjoy each other's presence there's also this feeling what I get there's also this feeling of for those of the Sagittarius singles and you've been single for a while there is this feeling of um, not only enjoying yourself, being being single, enjoying your freedom, but almost being like the sounding board or the guiding advice for other people, as well as um, finding yourself in a position over this weekend or next weekend, finding yourself in a position where you are understanding people on a deeper level, you are connecting with people that... Normally, you may, may, maybe wouldn't even pay attention to, but it's just because hearing them, listening to them. In other words, other things are starting to attract you about people. They're starting to appeal to you, like the conversations that the two of you have. Maybe you would have just before thought that that was, hey, they're a cool person. And now you'll entertain maybe a romantic relationship with somebody, not because they're hot or sexy or attractive, but because they're interesting, because they're open-hearted, because you think they have a good heart. You're starting to notice freedom from those old things, those old requirements that you used to have to fall in love or to be even engage somebody or entertain the idea of somebody as as um um, a, a date or a significant other this your 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 sensibilities in that respect are shifting and it's almost like a I don't know a leveling up in some ways you've just noticed different things that appeal to you and one of them is that people are tender-hearted and kind and that they're really good listeners I think that once upon a time Sagittarius you used to be very impressed by what people had to say and now it's almost like you're free of that and you're more impressed by people who listen. Not obey, but people who listen and understand and have patience. That's a big shift for you. 
So we can get a little bit of intel on who that kind of person is in the extended. We're coming on 1457 and we're moving to Cappy. What's up Capricorns? How you guys been doing? Let's see what's in your romance. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Transformation is beautiful. There's a big change happening in your romance life. There's a big shift. This does tend to be a shift of leveling up. Please understand something, Capricorn. When you get this card, this is a very Scorpionic energy. So you may be dealing with a Scorpio. But by Scorpionic energy, I mean that there has to be a death to be a birth. This is a Phoenix energy. This is... Understand, when the butterfly springs out, right, from its cocoon, do you know what happens in a cocoon? That The whole body of the caterpillar dissolves. And all that stuff, all those, it's almost like muck that it becomes. It almost, it, it's like mush. It's, it's like a death. It's a death for the caterpillar because it literally unmakes itself to break down to the very most basic structural components to rebuild itself as a butterfly so that is pretty intense and i don't think people realize it they just think of oh i'm just going to have wings and i'm going to be beautiful now there's a huge transformation period that happens before that now i also feel that you that the butterfly meat has a significant meaning to you guys so you could have a very much attachment being protected from energies from um your loved ones this is butterflies carry the spirits of our loved ones uh, they say that crow does this too but this always has like a prettier sweeter connotation but the, both are true spirit of your loved ones spirit of people who love you and are coming back to just say hi and to say hi they're near you so this is a kind of understanding of maybe even looking back into your past and trying to understand somehow what had happened? Are you repeating karmic patterns in your love life that maybe you saw from when you were a child and you didn't know that you were repeating them, but you have been repeating them. And the issue with that is it's getting in your way and understanding that and realizing that will now help you transcend to another level of leveling up in terms of romance. But for this weekend and next weekend, it really feels like your relationship is transforming. It's becoming something different and it's becoming, hopefully, I'm hoping you guys, that it's becoming something more beautiful, something more substantial. But here's the thing, a heartbreak may have had to happen before this level up happens. So I know what you're going through. There could be this tremendous amount of hurt and pain and sorrow in you right now. This is part of your becoming. This is part of you transforming. This is part of you that is going to spring forth and level up. This is 11. Spirit is listening. This is an awakening card. So that's the mentality with your love life right now. It is just awakening. And I want to say this to you. It may feel this weekend like it's dying. This weekend, next weekend. But it's not. It's actually transforming and being reborn. And that is really good news. Now we have express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. So there does, sen sen there does seem to be this sentiment of somebody giving you gifts, sharing their time with you, but also offering you. Uh, this is usually my engagement card, okay? So there's this feeling of somebody leveling up with you, of wanting to be around you, wanting to express Okay, this is what I have to say more than anything in the world. It's not you that has to do the work. It's them. See? He's giving her the gift. Now, if you're the he, then maybe that is the case. Or the masculine energy has to give the feminine energy the gift. It has to be you that expresses, expresses how you feel by showing. It may not be by gifts, but it's by showing, not by saying, but by showing. And this, here's the thing. Um, a gift is a, a piece of the heart that you extend to somebody else. So it doesn't have to be something tangible or something physical, but it does have to be, like I said, energy exchanged and action being taken. And here's the trick. Here's the caveat. Capricorn, you have to wait till this gift is given to you. It can't be you going after, charging forward. No, this is, the trick is you're on the receiving end. You have to receive. That You have to allow yourself to be given to. And do not 
step over that threshold until that giving has bit that's happened you must receive as crazy as it is making you as hard as it is as much as it's driving you nuts you must sit and be still and be on the receiving end you have to be and i know it's going to drive you crazy because it feels like you're just going through this death like you've just experienced Maybe a breakup, maybe a huge disappointment, maybe a huge rift in your relationship, or maybe a whole bunch of rejections on your dating app. Doesn't matter. A gift is coming to you. It's transcending. Your love life is transcending. You must wait for those persons to come to you. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. It's a very powerful message, and I know it's a lot to ask of you, but it's what needs to happen. So... We have 2047. We're going into Aquarius. Aquarius, I got some strong vibes coming off you as I was shuffling the cards. So let's say, dream the world into being. And don't you love to do this? Don't you love to do this? But I also feel there's an energy here of being haunted by your past, of looking back and thinking, what have I done in the past? Why have my relationships not worked out? Or what's been going on in our relationship that we can't get over? There's something that's sort of haunting you from the past. There's an issue that has come up or that you feel right beneath the surface. Get it out. Talk about it. So the little lizard, ha lizard has a hopeful energy, a very air-like energy. And then it's very forward thinking. It's very, I, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't look into the past. Lizards can shed even one of their legs. Let it go. I don't care. And regrow it. This is a regenerative feeling of, oh, maybe you're, maybe you're, Maybe you're hooking up with somebody from your past. Maybe somebody from your past has transformed themselves or they're coming back or you have not been able to get over this person from the past and that's what's haunting your future. The feeling of, of them always being there, them always being in your heart. Really, yes, maybe it's been over for a while, but have you really let them go? This energy would suggest that no, you have not let them go or you haven't let something from your past be in the past or be behind you. Something is still haunting you or coming back and it may be interfering with or affecting your current relationships or your current ability to have relationships. And when you say haunt, what are you talking about? Michelle? Do you see the skeleton in this? Do you see it? This is his jaw jutting out. This is his skull and this is the eye. So in other words, even though it's a skull, there's very much a, still a living part of it. And that is the living part that's attached to the past. So Aquarius, this air is this energy. You are such idealists that sometimes you get extremely disappointed. So disappointed that that disappointment stays with you and it stays with you permanently. And this week is this weekend when it comes to romance, this is all has to do with romance and love. Aquarius, this is about maybe even talking to your ghosts, if that makes sense. Talking to them trying to gain strength from them because let's face it, if they're always going to be there, then they might as well be of use to you. And I know that this is a different way of saying it, a dis different way of looking at this because other signs would be like, you have to let this go. But Aquarius, I feel like you are the type of, you are the type of energy who could line your ghosts up and make them into a choir. You'd be intrigued by what they have to say. And maybe you could even have relationships with those, that past. Maybe that's the only way for you to actually move forward is to forge some sort of 5D relationship with these ghosts from your past so that they you feel liberated. If they're always going to be there, then they might as well be doing something good. They might as well be making you happy. And so this weekend, next weekend is about finding a way to reconcile those ghosts of the past and make anything out of them that is useful for you because honestly... There is an energy about you that is manifesting. You're manifesting a love. You're manifesting a lover. Or you're just trying to manifest and continue moving your relationship forward in an energy that's healthy and happy. And in order to do this, there is maybe introducing who you're currently with to the ghosts from your past. Opening up and sharing or accepting. Accepting and then reconciling with that past. That's very interesting. And this all has to do with love. All has to do with romance. 
Back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. I have to say this is movement towards somebody that you used to be with or movement toward a uh, Maybe a higher set of standards as well, a set of standards that maybe you let slip so that you could be with somebody and it was a bad decision. And now it's getting back to being your full self, your whole self and getting back on your true path, which is where your true lover lies. This is also a card that says they're right there in front of you. There's a card that says they're right out there. You see them, you feel them, and maybe you don't even physically see them yet, but you know exactly who they are. You have an image of them in your mind and you're walking toward them. This is an energy of Aquarius. You're almost there. You're walking that path and the path that you're walking is directly leading, leading you to your boo, your person. Now who they are, we can see that in the extended, but the bottom line is this, keep on your path. This weekend, next weekend, there's going to be synchronicities. You're going to like feel chills in places where it, they're just randomly happening. Keep feeling those chills, Aquarius. Keep feeling them because those chills, maybe your ghosts trying to say, keep going in this direction. Keep going, keep going. You are being led in the right direction is what I'm saying. And your person awaits. They're right, in, they're, they're right up ahead. They're right up ahead. I'm just letting you know that. They're right up ahead. Oh, that's some good news. <laughs> uh, all right, Aquarius, let's go on to 26, 25. We are at Pisces. 26, 25, we're at Pisces. Let me take a drink of water, Pisces. All right. Let's move into your energy for love. Thank you for your patience. You know what? Right there with that water... I'm going to slip in a commercial. That's what I'm going to do. I've been like, what? I've been like talking about it. So let's slip in a commercial and I'll be back in about 30 seconds, Pisces, for your love message. Now, for those of you who are, on, are, on, are not on platforms that allow for that kind of thing. Okay. Okay. You're awesome. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> but for those of you who just sat through a commercial, thank you so much because that's some serious support from the channel and I really appreciate it. Um, Parrot Spirit, watch your words. Ooh, okay, two different energies here. One, you're a master manifestor, Pisces. Be, be very careful about what you're saying about love when you open up your mouth because whether you know it or not, you're manifesting. And what you keep saying, this is a message, over the next two weekends especially, what you say will, be, will start to um, sew the fabric of your relationships. So be very particular and be very articulate and also be very unjudgmental. Try to stay away from judging yourself too harshly, judging your past, saying bad things about yourself out loud because that's what you're just going to keep manifesting and welcoming in and that's not what you want to do. Also, this is for those of you in relationships or for those of you who are in situations where you need to say something to somebody, watch your words, watch your words, watch your words. In other words, there's a mentality, there's a sense, there's a sensibility here, Pisces, that says over the next couple of weekends, you might really want to snap at somebody. You may really want to lay into them harsh with the words that you have. And I'm not even saying that you shouldn't because there's a mentality of in some situations, in some cases, Pisces, this person absolutely deserves to just let, have, like, let them have it, let them have it, they deserve it. And maybe for some of you, that's what you need to understand is that your words are powerful and you need to use them in defense of yourself and not against yourself. So instead of the self-criticism and the self-hatred, spew it at the person who, aim at the person who deserves to hear it. There is a sense of, I always say this from the John Mayer song, say what you need to say, say what you need to say. You have something that you need to get off your chest. You must say it. Pisces, you have to say it. And it could be very difficult for you to stick up for yourself like that, but words have power. And if you instill a sense of your self-appreciation in those words, then that will keep coming. You will feel more powerful. You will, you, if you have felt a loss of or a diminishment somehow of yourself, you will, you will feel more powerful by saying what you need to say and sticking up for yourself. But also watch your words with people outside of whoever you need to say what you need to say to don't snap at the wrong person is what I'm saying and I guess I said that when I said don't snap at yourself don't do that there could be a tendency for you to be very 
implosive and be very harsh and be very critical on yourself the, the, oh, either this weekend or next weekend that's what the energies are so it's like this so sort of trying between the weekends there's you and the two weekends whatever is happening with these two weekends I just, like say what you need to say to the right person it's not so much don't be hypercritical but don't be hypercritical of the wrong people um because you don't want to talk to the person that you really need to talk to. Words have a lot of power over the next couple of weekends, Pisces, and they will really start to generate what you lead yourself to on the next level. So maybe even think about that as you go into these conversations. These words are calling in your next lover and who you really want. And so whatever you're saying with words or however you're using words, it's very abstract what I'm feeling from you guys, but however you're using those words is actually setting up what you'll be going to in the future. So say what you need to say to whoever you need to say it, but be sure that you, but be sure that you sing your own praises and have your own back and, and, but, but, but are honest with each other. Be honest, be honest with yourself, but don't accept responsibility for wrongs that were not yours is what I'm saying. Just don't, because it's almost like that will welcome in those wrongs happening to you again and again and again, and you don't want that. Uh, let's pull your uh, whispers, like attracts like. That's almost too perfect. That's like too perfect of a setup. Like attracts like. You may see something of your person. <coughs> I apologize. You may see something of your person in you, in who you are, or you may see a pattern coming back over and over again and that's because who you attract is a reflection of who you are if you're attracting people who have trouble with relationships maybe it's really you that has trouble with relationships if you keep attracting people who are codependent maybe it's that's really you maybe um or maybe it's it's you that needs to be needed um just understand yourself this these this weekend especially maybe into next weekend um, over the course of this week, I feel like you'll be too busy and distracted, but we tend to be much more social on the weekends. And there is a sense of if you are right with yourself, you attract the right person. If you are not right with yourself, you keep attracting the wrong people. So know that you have, when I said it from the top of the reading, you have a tremendous amount of power this week in manifestation, Pisces who you are and who how you carry yourself and how you feel about yourself will vibrate out and literally connect to people to bring into you how are you vibing are you vibing happy are you vibing in harmony are you proud of yourself do you know your self-worth are you being creative are you artistic is that how you're vibing because then how you're, you're going to start calling those kind of people to you you're going to start calling that energy into you. If not, just saying. So Pisces, maybe we need to learn a little bit more about who's coming towards you. Um, but I think that the answer is right there, right? Who's coming towards you is the person that you're reflecting from yourself. Really interesting energy, Pisces. All right, let's go on to um, Aries. Aries in love, love, love. Aries, I'm going to take a drink too. I need a, I just, this is just water. <laughs> oh, does the body good? Okay. Maybe I feel it. I think people have complained to me about sucking on lozenges. They can suck it, Aries. They can suck it. I don't mean any disrespect, but I have laryngitis, and so I have to go through this. Oh, we're on, um, let's start, we'll start your reading here. Okay. 3412, Aries. White Raven Spirit, trust in the magic. Mmm. Something new is starting. Mmm. Aries, this is something new. For Aries in long-term relationships or in relationships that are, you know, you're seeing somebody. You're, you're committed. 
something new is happening between the two of you. Something is dawning. This is a new birth, a new life. You could be finding out you're having a baby over the next couple of weekends. You could be making a baby. You could just be feeling like there's um, a new, a sense of newness to your relationship that wasn't there before, a freshness. Maybe you just had a big conversation and hashed out some things. But there is an energy. I apologize. There is an energy of renewal, invigorating, invigorating energy that wasn't there before. Trust in it and ride that wave. It's a six, six card. Six for me is the energy of love. Six is, is also two sixes sitting next to each other. So this is a counterpart. This is a life partner. So for those of you Aries who are single, this is a very romantic time for you over the next couple of weekends. You could be meeting somebody that is the one, that is the right one. Trust it. This is a new relationship. This is a new opportunity, especially for people who have been in a stagnant relationship. For Aries that were dealing with karmic partnerships, this is a chance not for a renewal with the karmic partnership. This is freedom from that karmic partnership and a new opportunity coming in for you. Or are you finally leveling up with a partner that you've been with for quite some time or you've been with for a while now and maybe you felt a little bored. Maybe you felt like, mm, I don't know if this is the one. There's a sense of freshness to your relationship now that makes you feel a little bit, that makes you feel more secure. It makes you feel like, yeah, this could go the long distance. But in most respects, Honestly, Aries, I am feeling so strongly that there is just a new relationship on the forefront for you, that there's something coming into your life that is very beautiful, that has so much potential. It's almost like it was forged from all the bad relationships that you've had in the past. It was forged from all the hopes that you've ever had to have in a relationship with somebody. And then this is what was, this is what's coming to you, this this magic that you made by knowing what you didn't want, right? So here it is. This is a new opportunity. This is a new relationship coming into you. Trust it. There may be a sense of this is too good to be true. It is not. This is not. It may feel like too good to be true. It may be too good to be true. When it comes to the situation of A karmic relationship that you're in getting better. In that case, I feel like, you know, and karmic relationships, what is it? Makeup, breakup, makeup, breakup, makeup, breakup, all the time, all the time. This could be one of your on again periods, you know? That could be, enjoy it. Go with the flow over the next couple of weekends. Enjoy the feeling of goodness, enjoy the freshness. If you're in karmic partnerships, I don't know how long that's going to last. I don't feel like it's lasting long. And that's why, honestly, my hope for you, Aries, was that you were finding somebody new. And I think that there is a potential for you to find somebody new. Absolutely. These are the couple of weekends to do it. This is the time for you to find somebody new and start something completely new that will really, really be what you want. Or like I said, there's a sense of something new starting in your long-term relationship that is going to have a beautiful future. So, depends on what kind of relationship you're in, Aries. Physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much. And holy moly, what did I just say? This whole time I'm thinking maybe this is engagement. And then this card comes up. It's like he's asking for her hand in marriage. Aries, you might be getting engaged. Over the next couple of weekends, you might be getting engaged. The only ones that I would put a smack, I would smack a red flag on, red like the color of my shirt, is for those of you who are in makeup and break up again relationships. That, for those situations, I would say, say no and start something new. Walk away. This is a great time because something new wants to come into you. And you won't be alone for long. Not that you shouldn't be. And Aries, you do very well on your own.
But there's a mentality here. There's a sense of if it's been on again, off again for too long, it's been ridiculous. And getting married or getting engaged is not going to change that pattern. And I know you don't want to hear that because you've been wanting to hear the engagement for a really long time. But the fact that it's been on and off again so much means that it shouldn't happen. And you shouldn't have kept going back to him. But this is a great weekend for you to finally end the old because a new is coming in that will lead to marriage and happiness and a future. A non-karmic partnership, a soulmate, a cosmic partnership, a feeling of connectivity that will go the distance. This is what you stand to gain if you lose that karmic BS. Now for others that are just in long-term relationships and have been going just fine. Holy moly, if you might not be getting engaged this weekend, this is some big stuff. This is some energy of trust this magic because magic is happening. Look at, look at, he's down on his one knee. I'm just saying, Aries, this is also the energy of just being able to spend, actually meeting somebody new. Like they may have been in your mind or in your imagination or you wanting to, these are, this is the energy of actually physically being able to connect with them. Are they becoming real? You see how she was like a statue before and now she's becoming real. Maybe you just melted somebody's heart and you just made a breakthrough with somebody that you've been pursuing for quite some time. And now they're actually going to warm up to you and be real. But there is definitely a breakthrough, a huge positive momentum change coming into your life. Oh, oh, I hope I'm going to get some good news from my girls. I hope. I'm just going to let you know. Okay. Uh, thank you for enduring that, Aries, by the way. My throat is very hoarse, and I appreciate your patience. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, 4151, let's go on to Taurus. <laughs> okay. Taurus energy. Let's do this. <laughs> Canary spirit, sing your own song. This is the energy of either you or somebody else. Well, this is, first of all, you owning who you are, your beauty, right? This is maybe you actually singing to share a part of who you are, to share your musicality. Whatever it is, it's about sharing who you really are and not worrying about what anybody else thinks. Maybe you're the oddball out. Maybe you're awkward. Maybe you don't feel like you fit in, but you love what you do and you love who you are and you're going to share those parts of you with the world. This is a very good weekend for that. This weekend and or next weekend, it could run into next weekend. This is a very good weekend for that. Why? Because this is getting somebody's attention for being your authentic self. This is the energy of Music is going to draw you together. The way that you sound, the way that you talk, the way that he or she presents themselves, it's almost going to be like you're not even going to be noticing or thinking about a lover, but somebody's going to notice you like their little songbird. Somebody may be actually singing your praises as well this weekend, Taurus. Like somebody that you didn't even know noticed you is like all kinds of singing about you, talking about you, buzzing about you. And maybe you're just hearing this from the grit through the grapevine these two weeks, like this weekend, next weekend, over the weekend, you were just like hearing, you're finally hearing it come through that people actually appreciate you and that people are actually noticing you. So Taurus, this is an energy for mostly Taurus singles. Now for Taurus couples, this is the energy of use your words and sing the praises of your loved one. Sing, sing their praises, tell them, share affection vocally, verbally. And I hope that those things are coming back to you too. You might notice that all of a sudden your spouse or your significant other is, is, is talking to you a lot more and, and has something to say to you. The, listen to what they have to say because I feel like it's an expression of love and appreciation for who you are and what you bring to their life or have this conversation with them. You be the one that initiates that conversation just to like compliment each other. It could even, it doesn't even have to be a deep conversation. In fact, this is probably not a deep conversation. These are the melodic tones. These are the tunes that bounce on top of all the deep stuff. What is that? God, you look so beautiful today. Or, hey, sexy, what's going on? Or, look at how gorgeous you look. Or, Jesus, I, I've never seen you wear that before, have I? It looks great on you. 
those little things, those accents that float on the top of life are going to make all the difference between for you and love. So, oh, for Taurus singles, what that means is when you're out and about, be complimentary to people. And it doesn't even have to be like, you know, can I take you home? It should just be like, you look really lovely today. And then strike up a conversation like that. Those little like high upper tones, higher vibrational tones. In other words, stay high vibration this weekend. Stay high vibe. Stay up, 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 keeping in those melodic tones. And say those sweet things that, remember, the flute always plays those sweet tones that people that people want to hear, right? Say those sweet things that people want to hear this week. You know, and don't, but don't, don't do it inauthentically. Just saying, if you notice somebody, wow, that dress looks great on you. Or it doesn't even have to be to somebody who you're interested in. You could be like a heterosexual woman talking to another woman, being at a bar and just turn to her and say, you look so beautiful tonight. And it will make her day. And it will be somebody else listening to you and listening to how you behave and how kind you are and how beautiful you make other people feel that will resonate. And then they'll come talk to you and be like, that was a really nice thing that you just said. Oh, I just, I was thinking about it because she looks beautiful and you'll strike up a conversation that way and it will demonstrate you in the very best light. So that's what I'm saying that these beautiful high vibe, upper melodic tones, getting into that sensibility this weekend will bring somebody to you, will attract somebody to you if you're looking for somebody. If you're not, it's still going to make you very, very appealing and attract people to you in positive ways. They'll be seeing you as something very beautiful and very inspirational, maybe even aspirational. Nice, Taurus. Be in the present. What did I say? Oh my God. Be in the present and dream of the future. In other words, the way that you are going to be behaving this weekend is going to generate something for years to come. It's almost like you're coming into your own alignment. This is my alignment card. So this is a sense of A, this weekend, you will feel very good about yourself. You will feel very content in who you are. You'll feel very up. That'll manifest 3D. That'll manifest in I'm feeling very happy. I'm feeling very good. I'm seeing things, everything's sort of beautiful to me. It's like I'm tipped towing through the tulips, you know, kind of energy, like, like it's feeling of not being high, but of being happy. And that mentality is going to run, rub off. This is also the sense of cosmic alignment. You could be meeting somebody that is very significant coming into your life. This is a very significant person that's going to influence and affect your life. If you've been looking for love for some time, you don't have to look for it for much longer. This could be this weekend, next weekend, but something is coming into alignment of something that has been uh, being set up for quite some time. So be ready. Be ready, Taurus. That's all beautiful energy. And it may not have been a long message, but it was a very clear one. 4802, we're going into Gemini. Hmm. We're going into Gemini. Let's do Gemini. Turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. And usually, Gemini, you like to maybe rush into things. But what I'm feeling right now is that there is something that you have been giving consideration to. And this consideration is very, very important to you. Something that you have been taking your time with because you wanted to be sure of it. Well, guess what? You've done the right thing. You have made the right decision, decision to go slow with this because you're trying to make yourself feel right about it or see if you feel right. You're testing the waters. This is a Cancerian energy. You might be dealing with a Cancerian, um, but no, this is just like Cancerian energy as in you have your shell, but see sea turtle, sea turtle isn't a turtle that hides in its shell like a crab hides in its shell. Sea turtle doesn't hide in its shell. It just has a shell. Its shell is a part of it. So it takes its home wherever it goes. It has a strength in itself to know that wherever it goes, it's at home. So this could be that you're starting to form a very deep connection with somebody. This is swimming in the waters of emotion, Gemini, of, of finding somebody that you can really trust and really want to be with. Somebody that you're impressed <clears throat> impressed enough with that you 
want to hang out. You could be dealing with a water sign. It doesn't have to be a water sign. This is a mentality of this weekend feeling very, very comfortable in your relationship. Very grateful, very happy, very appreciative of who you're with, of the energy that they bring into your life, of the comfort that they bring into your life. This is a beautiful energy of you know yourself, you know your partner, and you feel really, really good about it. For those of you who are just meeting somebody you get or or out there and you're single, this is an energy of being very secure, of, of patience and taking your time, not jumping into something, wanting to get to know somebody on a deeper level, looking for maybe a more deeper relationship, a long-term relationship, or maybe not even looking for it, but having that mentality of, these are my standards, this is my set of standards. How, how comfortable do I feel around somebody? I think a lot of times, Gemini, people feel very comfortable around you. So this energy could be reversed and that you're making somebody feel very comfortable, open. They'll open up to you. You'll know because they'll open up to you and in ways that maybe they hadn't wanted to talk to anybody else, but they're able to connect with and talk to you. And this will be okay with you. You'll start to have this connection with somebody that is all I can say is I'm just feeling it. It's warm. It's loving. It's like the Caribbean ocean. It's very beautiful. It's very emotional, but it's warm and it's welcoming. This is like the Caribbean, the, the Caribbean on a clear day when you can swim with the turtles. And if you've ever been on one of those excursions, it's such a hot, it's interesting. It keeps your mind focused, but it's also happy making. It's good merry making. So it's almost like the two of you have come together mentally and emotionally, and you're both in your happy place. You found something to do that intrigues and satisfies both of you. So this is a really happy medium, a beautiful place, because remember, turtles go up onto shore too. So it's not just this feeling of too much emotion. It is, there's a solidness to it. There's a feeling of, I really like where I am right now. So I like where you are right now, Gemini. That's excellent energy for you. Ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. So this tells me that you're around somebody that you feel comfortable around, enough around to take guidance from, to take advice from. This is, or this is you to them. This is a feeling of you um, offering comfort to somebody, offering guidance, offering maybe advice to somebody this weekend. And maybe that's what connects you to each other. Or your relationship is based on them needing you in your advice or your insights or your words of wisdom or um, the wonderful way that you put things that clarifies things for them and them recognizing that in you and, and appreciating that in you or that's what makes you stand out to them if this isn't a long-term relationship that's what makes you stand out to them is that you are different when it comes to listening to people and and how you speak to people there's a sense of they need that about you in their life. There's a lot of water here. So, I'm, you know, I will go into who's coming towards you. But I have to say, this is very obvious, Gemini. There's a lot of water here. So, Scorpio, Pisces, or um, Cancer. I have to say the Cancer card is right here, too. Um, cancer may not be the best partnership for you. But, like I said, Sun sign, Schmun sign. It really has to do with their Moon sign their Venus sign and their Mercury sign. So you could just be meeting this it, it this person that is very comfortable in their emotions or that you sort of, I don't know, I just feel like you almost pulling them out of their shell. Like giving them someone to talk to when they normally wouldn't feel talk, comfortable talking to anybody. And then a connection between the two of you starting to form. Very There's a sensuality here with all the water floating around. There's a sense of sensuality. This weekend and next weekend. That is a really nice, it's a sexy energy. I, I do have to say this out loud. I, I don't want to like, yeah, but I just do. Cancer, we'll go to 5404. Let's do 5404. Cancer, cancer, cancer energy. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. What, what, what are you trying to say? <laughs> like, like trust in divine detours. So maybe there's a breakup happening that you didn't expect. Trust it because it wasn't the person for you and you're being cleared out for the person who's coming in. 
Spirit wouldn't make you go heartbroken for no reason. You need to get with the right person. And so if there's been a breakup recently, Cancerian, please understand that that was because spirit needed to make you single. They needed you single because what was coming around the corner was about to come around the corner. Trust in it. Trust, trust, trust. There's also a message, Cancerian, of somebody really sexy and really appealing su surprising you surprising you because you didn't expect this to happen this weekend maybe you were in a mentality where you were finally happy to be single right and that's when it happens right that's always when it happens trust or like your friend says hey come out to this place and normally you wouldn't go out there go maybe this is even you just making plans the plans you're making now, right, with your friends, with a group of friends, are going to lead to, like, someplace you've never been before is going to lead to you meeting somebody. Is it, it Like, something is going on this weekend that you normally would not engage in, normally wouldn't do, or this is a person that you normally would not be attracted to. Trust it because it's coming. It has that air of unexpected. Like, boop, coming out of your, like, <laughs> like you didn't expect it because you were looking in another direction and spirit is going to redirect you into the direction this this weekend or maybe into next weekend this is the card you're going to be getting redirected made some major redirection and it could come in the form of a breakup it could come in the form of your friends asking you to go do something maybe you're making plans in a couple of for a couple of months from now say yes that's all I'm saying to you. Say yes. Because in terms of love and romance, you're paying it forward. You're setting it up. It's going, it's, it's leading you to the next steps or it's leading you around the corner that you need to turn to bump into your boo. I'm saying right now, and I know this is an energy of, but I wanted them this weekend. Well, maybe for some of you, it's going to happen this weekend, but I think it's really beautiful and really exciting what's happening this weekend because what's happening this weekend is setting you up for exactly who you're supposed to be with. I have this strong feeling, Cancerians, that you've been calling in your lover. You've been manifesting. You've been, you've been drawing them in. You've been, you've been saying the words out loud. Maybe you've even been casting spells to not on somebody, but to tell the universe that you're prepared. You're welcoming in that love, right? Cancerians, this is Felix Felicius. This is it. Do you see his eyes are glowing with magic? That's what this energy is of these. This is the divine intervening and directing you into you. We listened to you. We heard you follow us. We're going to this. We're going to manifest for you. Follow us. This come this direction. So Something may happen to you this weekend that is totally that is totally off. Even if it is a breakup, it is a redirect. It is spirit saying, that wasn't the one. Psh, over here, over here, over here. Follow, trust. And there will be a sense of you that will, a sense of calm. In other words, it won't feel bad. This, direct, this, this redirection, this de detour, if you will, won't feel bad. What will surprise you is that it won't feel bad. It won't feel as bad as you think it should have felt. It will feel like, oh no, I really have to go in this direction, don't I? There, will, Even if it's a breakup and you're crying, there will be a sen sen sensibility to you of more, let's, you'll surprise yourself with how okay you are with it. I'm not saying, I'm not saying it won't be emotional, but there will be this underlying of, but I really do need to go in that other direction, don't I? I'm telling you, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it this weekend into next weekend, maybe next weekend, or you're going to bump into somebody that you never thought would notice you. And they will, it will surprise you. It will take you by storm. This could be you being swept off your feet. For those of you who are singles, definitely you being swept off your feet of not expecting this person to have noticed you and this person not being your type, which is part of the unexpected, part of the, why do I feel so attracted to you? Why do I feel so connected to you? Trust in it, trust in it, trust in that feeling. It's the feeling, right? right? Our strongest sense is our intuition, Cancerian. If your intuition is like, this is right, what the eyes are saying. It's not about what the eyes are saying. 
It's what the heart is saying. It's what the gut is saying. I could feel it. It's, I could feel it right here, guys. It's coming right here. I can feel it. I could almost feel myself being pulled in that direction right now. This feeling of trust the unexpected and allow yourself to be let in, redirected or led in a different direction or say yes to an opportunity that you normally wouldn't have. You'll feel it. You'll feel it in your gut. I'm, I promise you. Um, this is also Sagittarius energy, but we will get into who's coming towards you. I don't want to name any signs right now because um, it may not be. It could be a different zodiac sign, but this is Sagittarius season. That's why I'm mentioning it. This is Sagittarius season. So these are detours that are coming, especially in the next two weeks when Jupiter is still in, in Sagittarius and things are things are good. Things are feeling good. Now, Cancerian, you may have a little bit more tension with Jupiter and Sagittarius than other signs. So things may not be manifesting now for you, but that's why you got to trust the subtleties. That's why you got to trust the subtleties. And it's in the subtleties that you will get your, you will, you will get your happiness. Do something for somebody. Give your attention to another. The small things. It's the small things. And it's also the kindness. And that's what I want to really point out to you guys. Remember how I said you'll feel comfortable? You'll just know it even though it feels weird. You'll just know it. it it's because of kindness. That's what will stand out. Is that feeling of either your kindness or their kindness will shine through. This is also just doing kind things for people. Engaging in, and you could be connecting with a Taurus because they got the similar energy. Engaging in things that just help people and not even thinking about what's going to come out of it, but that will start attracting a generous person to you. You see, to be generous is to attract generous. And if you want somebody who is kind and giving and you have always felt drained in relationships, then yes, you keep being kind and giving, but in little ways, in ways that you can afford to be kind and given, giving in smiles, in, in, in extra dollar tip at Starbucks, it, you know, um, in compliments to people. This is also a tender energy, somebody with a more tender energy that's going to surprise you because they might not look as tender as they are. So just be very, very wary of that. This is Virgo energy as well. This is an energy of growing things, of motherly energy. So this, this could be another Cancerian you're talking about of coming into a sense of you being cared for instead of just being the one that takes care of somebody. Ooh, I really love that energy for you. And it actually, to be honest with you, um, this is a person who's going to be have to be very, very patient with you because you won't right away feel comfortable with that. Um, a lot of Cancerians do not feel comfortable being taken care of. They always have to be the ones to take care of. But that drains you. And so this is an energy of somebody being loving and gentle to you. And they, they have that special touch with you. They know. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like, why do these animals trust this person? This is, this is the divine detours card. This may be somebody that you would have never thought that you would feel this way around. But it will be that feeling of tenderness, of kindness, of I can let my guard down around you. Oh, oh, I love that. That's awesome. Um, okay, Leo, it's you, babes. It's you. Um, the energy for Leo. This is really running long. That's okay. We needed this, didn't we? <sighs> Leo energy. Clear out the clutter. You're either breaking up with somebody or you're having a really serious conversation with your significant other this weekend about getting rid of the baggage, getting rid of the old stuff. If you're single, you could just be like getting rid of, you're closing it up. You're either, either I don't, I don't feel like you're breaking up with somebody, you've broken up with somebody, and now you're finally releasing that energy that you held on to of maybe bitterness, maybe sorrow, maybe sadness, maybe a chip, you know, not a chip, um, a dent in your self-esteem, you're letting that go. This is a beautiful energy for you, honestly. This is Jupiter coming into Sagittarius, a fellow fire sign, trining with your energy and reinvigorating that sense of who you are. And that's what it is. It's you, Leo, finally being cured and healed and being able to really let go of the past now. So if you've had this reoccurring relationship, a karmic partnership, somebody that kept coming back or you couldn't fully let them go. And I feel like this was part of your reading this week too, or just the past, yeah, the past reading that I did for you. There is an energy that you're finally able to release that. 
You, you don't have to deal with it anymore. This is Cancerian, Cancerian, Cancerian energy, but it's, it's that low vibrational Cancerian energy that likes to hold on to things, likes to cling to things, is needy. It doesn't want to let go of the past. And, and in doing so, they're holding back who they are meant to become. So, Leo, this weekend is you're finally letting it go. Is, is letting it go. You're not a tadpole anymore, right? You've become somebody else. And you're fully into that skin now. And that's what he's done. It's like he's released, the frog has released the tadpole. He's finally come out to the surface of the water and become something new. So it's an energy of letting go and releasing and finally being able to move on. If you are in a long-term relationship, Leo, this is a sense of, you know, um, finally being, not finally being able to move on. Um, Finally being able to let go of past relationships. To make way for all the beauty that's coming in and accept, really accept. Because I think maybe there was a sense, Leo, of being wary of what if it doesn't work out. Not that you don't love the person, but what if this doesn't work out? Or what if there's tension? Or what if these tensions continue? No, you're clearing things. You're clearing the air with your partner this weekend. It could go into next weekend. You're, this is the energy of forgiveness, of release, of everything going back to being loving and being okay again. This is healing energy for you, Leo. Really deep energy, actually. Take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. This is you, whether you're in a long-term relationship or you're just meeting people or you're single. You're deciding to believe in love, not believe in those old hurts or that past, not be worried or wary about, or even clearing out the clutter. Maybe finally, like, I'm going to say this, maybe your divorce has finally ended and you don't have to pay alimony anymore type of thing. It's like, this is that weekend where you finally let to be, you are finally released from the past. And so you can finally release the past and it's gone. You can let it go. And the person that's coming into your life, or the person that you're sharing your life with now is that life partner. They're the person that you're going to go the distance with. They're the person that you're going, because you have common vision. This is my common vision card. This is my life partner card because both of you have the same vision. You have the same mentality. You don't have to change for each other. You want to go in the same direction and the two of you are going to go there together. And that that vision that used to be separate, those two visions have become one. So two have become one and you have a vision for the future. This is somebody that you're moving forward with. So it could be your spouse and you're finally clearing out the clutter that was making it harder on you guys or harder for you or getting in your way or causing tension. That's gone. Now you can focus on your vision with each other. Or if this is, this is great news for uh, Leo singles because it means that you're finally able to relinquish the past and meet somebody who has that, meet somebody who has that common vision, that, that shared vision, a, a vision that they want to combine with yours and go forth and like move into the future with you, both seeing the same vision because it's a combined Bind vision. This is the person that you can go the distance with. I really love this energy for you, Leo. It's really beautiful energy. Okay, so now we're at 108.18 Virgo. All right, Virgo, here we go. Here is your energy for this weekend or next weekend, depending on when you're watching this. Whatever weekend you're watching it is the weekend you're supposed to see this. You are never alone. This is love, Virgo. This is love. This is being loved. This is somebody expressing their deep, unabiding love for you, their commitment to you, how much they've loved you for how long they've loved you. I'm getting really strong vibes of a long-term relationship here, but your partner being especially affectionate this weekend, you could even be making babies. I'm just saying there is an energy of just being very, very affectionate with your loved one this weekend. Or if you are Virgo singles, somebody coming forward to you that yes, you would consider as a partner, 
basically getting really happy news because they notice you too and they want you to and connecting with oh i just feel it it's so happy it's it's like a heart that really needed to heal virgo so this is that weekend where you finally either make your first go on your first date or they finally approach you and they come out and they ask you um, to go out with them or you make it official, you're an official couple now because you just have found somebody that really grounds you and really solidifies you. You could be dealing with another Virgo, another earth sign. This is very earth energy, but otters are of the water too. So you could be dealing with a Cancerian energy. This is a sense of somebody who really just wants to wrap themselves around you and be around you all the time and vice versa. So any of these energies can switch between, right? So oh, this is this is what I've wanted for you guys for a really long time of feeling love, feeling in this energy of just being warmed by the person that you're with, being like feeling their energy and their power come into you and combine with yours. This is just a sense of this weekend, be you being surrounded by love and you being physically loved. You being shown or expressed love. Like people will express love to you this weekend, Virgo. This is that weekend where maybe you even thought for a second this was too good to be true. It's not. It's very, very true. And this is very, very long term. Wow. Oh, I love this. Love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts, and provides a sense of security and self-worth. It's you. It's like it's been coming. Do you see, like, you see it's the music. It's the music that's really putting the wind in the sails. So it's communication. Mercury's gone direct, Virgo. So communication isn't down. It's not wonky. It's not stalled anymore. It's working full force for you again. And so here you are going direct. You've gone direct again. You have your energy back and you're also getting really good news. Those things, those opportunities that were delayed for you. You thought that this was never going to happen or that this was never, you, you weren't going to make this breakthrough. You're going to make this breakthrough this weekend. You're going to make this breakthrough. Or it could be out to next weekend too, but this breakthrough is going to finally happen. This relationship is going to finally happen. This conversation that you needed to have with your spouse, or maybe they weren't as affectionate as you wanted them to be. This affection is returning. There's a lot of juice here. So it could be very sensual energy as well. There's a breakthrough in a sensuality. There's a breakthrough in emotions. There's a breakthrough in people expressing and showing their emotions to you. Wow. I'm going to leave it there because that's a good place to leave it. <laughs> All right. And now we have Libra. Libra at one, two. Okay. We got your Libra. Libra energy. So this is this weekend romance, this weekend love energy for you guys. Libra, sometimes life stings. And six plus four is 10, which is an ending. Ooh, so, I mean, I, this, this could be a very disappointing weekend in love for you. Libra, or whatever week, weekend you're hearing this, you could get bad news that hurts. You could have a conversation that disappoints you. You could get information that is designed to hurt you. Unless you're dealing with a Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, um, or you could be meeting a Scorpio. Let's put it that way, because they have that stinger. But there is also a sense of them not being that open to you right now or them being defensive towards you, or maybe being more sarcastic, not necessarily mean with their words, but more sarcastic with their words than you would have liked because you have this energy of, of being really excited about them, but there's a sense of disappointment this weekend, Libra. There's a sense of, um, yeah, things not going the way that you wanted them to go. This isn't necessarily a breakup. But this is coming home and the dinner isn't on the table. You know, this is coming home and they're not home yet because they're late. 
because they went out with their friends and they didn't even tell you and you really needed to talk to them about something. So it could be something like that where you can definitely work through. But there's also this energy of, see, there's like the World Wide Web sort of behind him. This could be you finding information out online about the person that you cared about, your significant other. Or maybe you think you, you see something online, ask them about it, please. Mercury has gone direct again. This is a good time for you two to, to converse. So Libra, if you feel like something is up or you saw something that you're suspicious of, talk to them about it first before just making an assumption. But news or messages could be coming in that really disappoint you and hurt your feelings. And this could cause some really trouble, some sort of pain and ache in that beautiful heart of yours that, that did not nobody wants to get stung, right? Um, that did, didn't, maybe didn't see this coming or if you did, you weren't looking at it because you didn't want to. But this is definitely it being brought to the surface and in a position where you can't overlook it and it hurts a little bit. It is, it is. Sometimes life stings. This is a situation that we go through. I don't think this is irreparable damage is what I'm trying to say to you. So don't get worried about that. But there is an end of, it could just be an end of your suspicions with confirmations that what you suspected or what you didn't want to hear was true is actually true or something that you felt was going on, but you didn't want to look at it. It's coming in your face. I just have this feeling, this message coming through to you through the internet or seeing something online, like it coming to the surface now. It may have been hidden, but it, it's coming to the surface now. Or like I said, you're dealing with somebody, you're meeting somebody who's sarcastic and maybe they even feel like they're, they're being funny, but you don't take it as funny. You're not really um, jiving with how they communicate. Maybe I feel like they're very, in other words, I feel there's disappointment here. So this would be somebody who's very attractive and whose attention that you initially wanted, but there's a disappointment there with, you know, maybe they're critical of you or, you know, they say things that are, you know, off color and it's just like, oh, there's this, there's that sense. Yeah. And maybe you're online, maybe you're doing online dating and, um, this is somebody that maybe, you know, um, just disappointment, disappointment, you just not, Ooh, let's, let's see what the other card is. Okay. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love Libra. You really need to have a serious talk with your significant other. There is trouble in paradise. This is, this is you realizing that they're not as committed to you as you thought they were. This is, there's a crack in the foundation of your love. This is, um, or maybe just having a, a hard conversation with your significant other. So it doesn't mean you're breaking up. It just means that this weekend you're going to be having a difficult conversation with them. A conversation that maybe you've been avoiding for a long time or or never thought you'd have with them. But you've come to a point in your life where the two of you are both changing and you need to start reassessing some things. And I, like I said, it could just be this, this conversation that you need to have. But what is right for you? It's going to... There's something about a conversation being had that brings up something in you, Libra, that makes you realize that there's a truth about your partner that you haven't wanted to accept, but you have to accept it now. It just is. It's just this truth about your partner that maybe they don't love you as much as you love them. Like maybe this isn't the full two-way street that you thought it was. And you've been wanting to hold on and you wanted to make this work because you were enamored with them as you become enamored with people. But you've worked way too hard and made too many concessions to keep this going. And this is a long, hard look at maybe this is just not something I can keep going anymore. Libra, I love you guys and I'm giving you prayers because you can get through this. And there is some, there's always something beautiful on the other side. I'm just letting you know that right now. All right, everybody, especially for those of you who have watched this full hour, thank you. You are great. You are awesome. You are wonderful. I will see you either in the extended to see who is coming towards you. And I'll break that up by Zodiac signs as well. Or I'll see you guys next week. Bye.